This is the Gardner Textured Camo Coating Powders. Comes in four colours to suit different lake environments. They can be mixed together to give a more mottled effect, but all of them offer extremely effective, low glare, hard wearing camouflage finishes to uncoated leads. They're really simple to use and we'll give you a quick demonstration of how to create great camouflage leads now. All you need to create brilliant coated leads is a gas cooker. You can either use your home gas cooker or a camping stove like we're using today. Your chosen colour coating powder, a pair of pliers, a small bowl to decant the powder into just because you don't want to get hot lead near the plastic container. And I like to use opened out safety clips for hanging the leads in the oven during the 10 minutes baking process that cures and hardens the coating powder onto the outside of the lead. I've got about a centimetre of powder in a small container and it's as simple as holding the lead by the loop very firmly with a pair of pliers, hold it over the top of a flame rotating it so that the heat is even across the whole of the surface of the lead. Can be a bit tricky when you're turning it over but just make sure you keep a, keep a firm grip of the, the lead loop with the pliers so that it doesn't slip out of your grasp. Don't overheat the lead because otherwise it will start to melt and if you're not sure whether it's hot enough you can sprinkle a small amount of powder on and if, it's, if it melts and starts adhering to the lead, it's probably warm enough. Tip the bottom of the lead and ensure that all around the top of the lead you've sprinkled sufficient lead coating powder to give an even coating. It's important at this stage to make sure that the coating is all over the lead because it's quite difficult to go back and re-coat it afterwards. But that's perfect, that's all over. Now, use an opened up paper clip that we showed you earlier and hang the lead on it. That's all ready to go into the oven to cure the coating and to make it rock solid and make sure it adheres to the outside of the lead without any problems. Now whilst the lead's still hot and hanging on the paper clip, open up your oven and hang the lead inside without it touching the inside of the oven, closing the oven door and give it a bake for about 10 minutes on 200 degrees. After 10 minutes the lead should be cured. Use a pair of pliers to lift the paper clip up out of the oven, careful not to touch it, and quench it in some water, and then you're ready to go.